We introduce VR Doe, a hands-on 3D modeling system for creating and manipulating elastoplastic objects in virtual reality. Traditional 3D modeling tools are challenging for novices, requiring expertise, real-world observation, and complex techniques, which limits accessibility. While VR tools like Gravity Sketch enhance creativity through immersive experiences, they rely on procedural modeling, which still requires considerable skill. By incorporating hand-object interactions and physics-based simulation, we propose VR Doe to make 3D modeling more intuitive and accessible. This is an example application of using VR Doe to create a donut. The process involves merging two objects with different material properties to simulate the effect of viscous pink cream flowing along the bread under gravity. Gravity can be turned off, and the material properties of the object can be modified into a more easily editable plastic-like substance, allowing the cream's flow details to be shaped through mid-air gestures and hand contact. We extend support for editing 3D data represented by Gaussian splatting, enabling content creation through modifications to realistically rendered objects. In this example, multiple mushroom-shaped houses are scaled to different sizes and then merged together. The shapes of the mushrooms and roofs are edited to varying degrees using hand interactions and mid-air gestures, with fingers used to separate connected objects or carve text onto the roofs. The pipeline of VR Doe includes three parts. Input component. The system supports both contact-based and gesture-based input methods. Simulation component. Utilizes the material point method for physical simulation, enabling realistic and large deformations. Rendering component. Supports Gaussian splatting for model editing and marching cube surface rendering for model creation. However, these techniques alone do not fully address the challenges of real-time performance and intuitive usability. We introduce technical advancements to overcome these limitations. Overall, our key contributions are a novel physics-based VR 3D modeling paradigm, intuitive modeling through natural interactions, real-time performance through technical innovations, and comprehensive evaluation through two user studies. Here, we showcase various contact-based modeling cases, Pinching and reshaping with fingers, bending a cylinder, and cutting it. We provide auxiliary modeling tools such as a planar slab, a rod, and scissors to support diverse and controlled deformations. We provide a mid-air pinch gesture, enabling users to perform operations such as stretching or twisting materials by applying a force field to selected MPM particles. To add new materials to an object, users can utilize a sourcing tool that extrudes geometry we demonstrate a process of extruding ice cream onto a cone. We introduce the following technical contributions. By performing collision handling at both the grid and particle levels, we enable accurate hand-object interactions even at moderate grid resolutions. This approach provides clearer imprints, finer details, and realistic deformations while preserving precision. We restrict the simulation to a cubic region around the user's hands, other particles remain stationary. We tested with and without localized simulation in complex scenes, showing a 3.3-fold frame rate increase and significantly boosting performance. In this garden scene, only the objects within the localized simulation region can be deformed, such as the desk and the shrub. We also introduced a loss function to penalize the size ratio between the largest and smallest Gaussians, encouraging uniform volumes. With regularization, volumes remain consistent, preserving details and visual fidelity even under extreme deformation. We use fewer MPM particles drive a larger number of Gaussians through the MPM grid, preserving rendering accuracy while improving simulation speed. In a wolf simulation, reducing MPM particles to 30% of Gaussian kernels slightly increased volume but doubled FPS, maintaining visual quality. Here are some object creation examples made with VR Doe such as a steamed bun, a Swiss roll, a grape cluster, a snowman, and a hamburger. With VR Doe, object creation becomes as natural and intuitive as manipulating items in the real world. We also demonstrate eight examples of editing Gaussian splatting represented objects. These examples showcase VR Doe's ability to simplify complex modeling tasks while maintaining creativity and control. 
Two user studies are conducted to evaluate VR Doe. The first study focused on open-ended creative tasks to assess the system's intuitiveness, immersion, and efficiency in 3D modeling. The second study compared VR Doe with the conventional modeling software Blender. Thank you.